Uh, 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 uh. Thunder? Lightning? This is, uh, this is quite stormy. I'm not sure what to think about this. Other than it's going to suck trying to get out of the harbor with a DE2. Ooh. Good god they made this game pretty. <laughs> What's up guys, this is Heiss. It's time for career playthrough episode two here. We don't have a license for that. Don't have a license for that. We're gonna, we're gonna see what, uh, what we have options for here. It's shunting, we can probably do that. Uh, no, that's hazmat, we don't have that license yet. We remember it last time I finished and I got shunting and long as uh, options, so. Too long, literally. It's hazmat. Oh, it's a logistical hall. We can't just throw all the stuff out of the way. Has three. That's like extra spicy. Oh, that's has two. Look at, all, look at all these fun, explodey boys that we could be hauling. Don't worry, friends. We shall join you again. This is, like, the one job I've picked up so far that I could have run without any of the uh, extra licenses. <laughs> okay, so we could do that. Do that. Okay, there's actually a couple. Okay, so we have three shunting jobs. Which, that one's actually pretty... Three drop-offs. 162 minute time bonus. That one's actually a pretty good amount of money. Or we could try and run over the road. We've got City Southwest. That's actually a lot of money. It looks like these are all unload switching things, which means that the job will be done after that or it'll turn into a logistical haul. So I think we're gonna take the big money and try and run to City Southwest in the rain here. Although that's 476 tons. Um, we're gonna we're gonna want some more stuff. What is it? It's the FH-92. Okay, we're gonna have to go figure out where that is. It's probably in the E-yard. He can say, hopefully. Got the haze around the lights. Super fun. I'm so not used to individual saves uh, with this game. Because last time I was here, I was in Sandbox on a live stream, and we went to try and pick up some cars, and I derailed everything for the 4th of July video that I put out. <laughs> okay, maybe it's this. SU, no, it's a shunting job. These are all boys of explodey variety. I don't think it's in the E yard. Let's see about jumping the fence here. Maybe it's in the G yard? Which I think is the next yard over past the station. I think. I hope it might be this one. Because it's got some container cars and stuff. No, it's not that one. It's a shunting job. Okay, so it's gonna be in like B or C, or is it C or D? One of the spur yards. <laughs> it's cold and rainy. This is not the military base one, right? No, it's not. Okay, so it's gotta be in here, I think. And of course, I'm gonna find these cars, and then I'm gonna have to go get a locomotive. I can't spawn locomotives in career. All right, who are you? FH-92. Here we are. Okay. So we need to come grab these with a, a locomotive. Let's line our switches on the way to the roundhouse, I guess, then. Got that lightning. <laughs> it's a spicy storm. Okay, that 
that's lined. I th I'm kind of thinking, I don't know. I don't remember the tonnage ratings. We could try it with one, but I kind of want to try it with two. Two DE2s. I don't have the MU, but that doesn't stop me from being silly. And our copa, like we don't have the manual servicing license yet, so, and the copay is still pretty cheap, so like I might as well just run two of them. It's protection anyway. All right, that was the last switch I needed to get. We can just cut over to the shop now. Um, oh, I guess I do have to see if it, if there are two engines for me to play with here. And there's not. There's just the one that we ran last time. I sometimes park one out there, though. Okay, no, there is a second one. All right, well, we're going to have to be sneaky about that. And that's lined across. All right, well, let's hop on our steed here. Flick all the things. <laughs> With all the dials right where we left it. All right. What are you mad about? mad about something. Good God. Uh, we can turn the wipers back on now that we're outside again. Why are my lights on the rear? Oh, I set it to red. That's right. That's marker. There we go. Now we can vaguely see something. <laughs> That's the other, other, the other throttle. Come on. Was it the wheel slip light? Oh, you're just sliding him flat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what's, what's that about rain? It's fine. Okay. Uh, Switch. It's over there somewhere. We'll find it again. Oh, I should probably adjust my lights so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh yeah, we really blew past that, didn't we? <coughs> Alright, so we're lined all the way, but we want to stop and pick up our other engine. i got to figure out... Uh, it should be the other way. Obviously, I'm running the wrong way to depart the harbor. Oh, I should have looked and seen which way the other one was lined up. I might have, I might need to, to have uh, rotated this one and made it face the the other way. It's over there somewhere. Or we could just run with both engines in reverse, you know. It's, uh, you know, it's a thing you can do. You don't want to look at your controls while you're operating a locomotive. You just feel it out. Come on. Right, there it is. Okay, and it's also facing this way. We could Y it. We could. Or we could just run both engines in reverse. That'd be nice and confusingly silly. Alright. I was wondering why I'm getting spicy derail sounds and I realized I guess I am doing about 20 or 30 kilometer an hour right now. Alright, we'll set up a little air on this. And it'll just come to a nice, easy stop while we go grab its friend. Ah, and I, I, you know, I'm just really tempted. I think we're just gonna run them both backwards. Why not? Realistic wasn't hard enough, so we were stupid on top of it. <laughs> all right, wipers. Let's just turn on all the lights. Why not? All right, handbrake. Shush. Shush you. Did our friend stop? Yes, he did. Okay. You can hear the air compressor still working. Yes, lightning, we hear you. 
All right. More, 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 more breaks, please. Beautiful. Let that uh, do its thing, and we'll get the switch before we forget. And uh, ah! dunk. Ow. Oh, those couple quite close, huh? All right, tie all this mess together here, and we can't uh, it can't MU, so you know we die like men. All right, air's released there. That's off. We'll just we'll just let that sit that way, and we will turn off the front lights on it because those are now going there, and uh, we'll leave. We can turn off that rear light on this. And now we are the world's dumbest consist of two DE2s. Should, should be entertaining. Let's see if we can go find our cars without too much issue here. I'm trying to work just a very gentle throttle because uh, it's very wet out. And I'm now towing dead weight for good measure. Only doing 20 on the way into the yard. This should be fine. Lined in, here we go. I'm not sure exactly how much brake it slides at. Just trying to be gentle there. It's less than five kilometer an hour, that should be fine. As I get eaten by the platform. This is not a very safe vehicle to couple to. Bang. All right, tie that in. Air is hooked up, air is hooked up. Main res dies as we go to send it uh, more things on down the brake pipe and our brake cylinder is applying. Or is that our brake pipe? No, it, okay, yeah, brake pipe is black, and the brake cylinder is now releasing. It did come up for a little bit as uh, we lost brake pipe pressure to start sending it down, which is a very neat little touch. <laughs> Good God, yeah, that's right. We're, we're really doing this. We're really doing this backwards shenanigan. Okay, well, do we want to run from the front or the, the not front? Let's get everyone set up. Everything's kicked off there. Got lights on. Guess we should kick this brake off. Thankfully it was that one. Uh, okay. Well, we'll just try and You know what? We're gonna we're gonna leave the booster engine. We're gonna conserve fuel here. And we're just gonna just turn it off. Oh, it, that doesn't shut it down. Uh, okay. Push the EFCO. Emergency fuel cutoff, and uh, there we go. Okay, and now we've got places to be. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> the amount of amps we just pulled. You wanna get those traction motors to glow? Woo! <laughs> it's nice and hot, it's fine. This thing's not happy with what I'm making it do at the moment. I don't know the weight of uh, one DE2, but uh, it's gotta be pretty significant, I would think. <laughs> All right, can we get a little bit more out of it? Now we're just trying to melt traction motors is what we're doing. Goodness, come on. Can we run without sand? Okay, you know when I said that I was gonna leave the second engine shut down? I lied. Because good god, this is slow. You saw that coming though, didn't you? 
We haven't roasted this one's traction motors yet, so we might as well get to it. Look at that gauge move. <laughs> you gotta get them up to operating temp, you know, you might as well. Oh, two, uh, two DE2s may not be enough to actually do this. All right, where's the station? I, I've got to do the mad dash and then make it back on my train. Yeah, there it is, green light. Ah, Super Mario mini games don't fail me now! Okay. And uh, we put the overview in, accept the job, here we go. We've gotten it and we're going to the C2 inbound. And our look, our train didn't even run away yet. Kapow. That thing's much happier on temps. A little bit more speed. Uh, I tried to realistically walk instead of jump through the cabs, and I died. I've been killed. So yeah, like, cause you would you would have to walk. There's not really a front platform on this thing, is there? We're only doing 25, and because it's dark out, we feel like we're just going stupid fast. It's a real phenomenon when you're running trains at night. It's like, you don't actually know how fast you're going. Like, you, it's really hard to perceive. Let's see if we can get a little bit more speed out of that one. Okay. How we doing? Okay, not too hot. Liter like, literally hot, not like, not bad, you know? on our traction motors to stay. I mean, not not cold, but not hot. <laughs> Just looking back and seeing the empty cab back there. Eh, that's a little worrisome. Did we put a, a red light on the front for glowy fun? No, I guess not. And we're almost hitting that 40, but we want all the speed we can carry up to the hill here. Because we should be lined pretty much to the steel mill. Because we came from the steel mill. And we have to turn before the steel mill. That will be our next uh, switch to throw. But the hill begins right there. You can see it. So, spicy, spicy speed time. Can you give me everything? No, you cannot give me everything. It might be able to give me that much, though. A couple more clicks. Oh boy. This, fe this feels a little spicy, but we're, we're gonna like die of uh, slow speed very shortly here, I think. This is a pretty steep grade up here. Yeah, we're down to 40, we hit 45, so we're at the speed limit now just by <laughs> bogging down. What are you, what are you mad about? Oh, we're, we're hitting bad traction motor temps now. Gonna have to dial these both back. Yeah, 2.4% grade. That one's holding temp and we're holding at about 35. Yeah, we were never gonna make it up this hill with this train with one of these. The fact that they're backwards is not ideal, but you know. Oh, don't don't wheel slip. Can the, does the sand carry back to the second engine? No, it doesn't. Single tier. That would be really neat, uh, but I imagine actually keeping track of that would probably be pretty hard. Because it's it's shocking how long. Oh crap! It is shocking. Uh, the traction motors very warm. Uh, it's shocking how long sand sticks around. Just cool off. Just cool off. We're not making this grade terribly quick, are we? Okay, that one's back in the yellow. And this one's almost back to the yellow. Oh, it's not ghosts. It's just the wipers wiping nothing. Is it still raining? No, it's just dark. It might still be raining a little bit. I think it is still raining a little bit. All right, the grade is less steep through here. 
Can we get away without sand? We had to dial back. See, I will save some of the sand. Okay. Have to get this engine to work a little harder now. I don't know if I can leave it there. No, I definitely can't leave it there. Yeah, uh, working at the Colorado Railroad Museum, as I do, I mean, I get to experience going around in circles, literally, with trains. And you can sand and then run over the same spot like five or six times without any issues, and there'll still be sand there. It's kind of amazing how that works. You'd think that the wheels would compress it to oblivion and then it would just be done, but it hangs out for quite a long time. No, quit it, you. This is uh, a speedy ride, even with two engines. <laughs> it's pretty out here. What are you? What are you eating about? Why are you mad? Oh, wheel slip. Really? Oh, well, that must mean that this one's gonna be slipping too. No, don't lose it now. Come on. Cool down. Oh, no. Come on. Don't make me double the hill. I have no siding to stash cars in. I have two engines. I have literally all the engines I could possibly have. At least with licenses. Is that still climbing? No. Okay. This is, uh, this is going poorly, everyone. Please, cool down. We might, uh, we might have to stop, let the traction motors cool, and then start again. Which is a hilarious, like, prospect. <laughs> We're down to 11 kilometers an hour. This is, uh, this is some serious precision scheduled railroading right now. <laughs> The engines are backwards. We're crawling up the hill. You know, the problem is I never put my other light in backup so I don't get the evil staring red eyes at each other. Look, I can run faster than the train. Anyone, anyone want to do a photo run by? Let me just get off and, uh, and wait. <laughs> oh boy. All right, the traction motors are cooling though in this throttle notch. So we should be able to rip it up a little bit more and get some speed, because we haven't, we're actually gaining speed somehow. We're back up to 12, count it, 12 kilometers an hour. Grade must have uh, decreased a little bit. Okay, I grabbed the throttle notch and it's working its way back up now, but let's see if we can gain some speed first before it gets to be a problem. And it is still barely raining, but you know, we have wiper speeds, so we'll just uh, just turn those down a little bit. Put them on intermittent. Oh, this one's still cooling off now, so we're gonna give him another notch. And same here. Can we get away without sand? Let's save the sand, I think. Yes, speed. Speed and power. Come on. Oh, my W's got to come clean these flowers out of the gauge. Can I get another notch? Okay, that didn't do anything too bad. Another one? Yes. Yes, my child. Another one? Just keep gingerly throttling it up here. We could be doing 50. We're doing not even quite half the speed limit at the moment. Come on, train! Traction motors are starting to heat up a little bit more. 
Not too badly, though. We're losing speed again, though. No one's slipping, right? No, no slipping. things sometimes that make games really pretty. Just looking up at nice starry sky and everything. And the speed limits that mock us as we do 26, no, just 25 kilometers an hour. That's just very slow. Alright, can we, can we just grab a notch on both of them and it'll heat us up a little bit more. But maybe... Maybe, maybe we can get some speed before it matters. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try this. We're gambling a little bit. Yeah, see, it's kind of stabilizing at about 100 Celsius. Because the amperage is coming back down as we've sped up. Alright, look at that! We're doing more than 30! Oh my goodness! Speedy boy! Come on! Do we get greedy? Yeah, I think we get greedy. One more. We gotta push this envelope somehow. <laughs> We've got places to be. The time bonus is only 132 minutes, I think. 126 minutes. So, like, come on, you know. We might use up all that time. You don't know. Is that stabilizing? Looks like it is. Almost 40. And we're coming up on... Yeah. We are coming up on this junction right here. It's a long way to go to City Southwest, but it should be a lot faster. This is the the big scary hill here. We can go 70 to the left. There's a little bit more of a grade here, just for a little bit longer. Gotta love the reverb. And how squiggly the track is, I haven't really noticed that before. It undulates. It's cool. Temp is on the way up slightly. It's not causing a problem yet. Neither engine. But we got 70 and we flatten out through here. Come on! Yes. Move that way. Good dial. What are the odds we can grab another notch? It seems to be happy pulling about 400. Like temp-wise, if you're pulling 400 amps. Yes! Speed! My old friend! Okay, we really start to see the, the train do the dance getting up to the speed right through here now. Alright. One more notch. We're gonna just keep grabbing them. Is that everything? No, we still have one more. I'm gonna wait for the amps to come down a smidge before we grab that last one, though. This is where we're making up time. This is the, the fast flying section. Getting through into here now. And I'm pretty sure that this thing will only do about 70, so... That's gonna be our speed limit pretty quick here, so... You know, it's not Dear Old Valley unless you're getting that sound effect. Like, you start getting the grinding one, you might be a little too close for comfort, but the, the little spicy shika 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 maracas, like, that's, that's just that's just playing the game, man. All right, we're wide open. The beans! We're giving it the beans! Everything! 
Attack has gone all the way over. All right, we're doing more than 70, so I guess it doesn't just stop out at 70. And I'm pretty sure that's the speed through here. 80 coming up, so. Although the temps, or the amps is not coming down. We're not gonna be able to maintain full throttle, I don't think. And we're pretty much bang on 70, so. I'm gonna notch it one back. We, we had both of them wide open for just a little bit. And that's happier. We're going to let them cool off now. And we're just going to bob down the track doing seasickness like experience. Remember what I set the day-night cycle to, but it's been night this whole episode. I have a compass. I don't have a watch. I still haven't figured out how to use the lantern. You just yeeted at stuff, right? There's probably a button to gently set it down, and I just don't know what it is. So this is the mini game that we're now playing. Lantern throwing simulator. This is only Reese Cow. No, oh, oh. Dang that. That'll work close enough. All right, so we need. Like. Do I just have to light it with the lighter? Why'd you derail? Well, hey, there we go. It's fine. Yeah, hang it right there. Sure. More cab light. <laughs> Has anything broken since we've been doing that? No? Cool. All right, that's 60. So we're gonna shut down. probably grab some air. Probably? Yeah, the air is doing stuff. Probably just gonna leave that other engine at idle. Oh, heavens. Yeah, that's the spicy right there. I gotta get my switch ready, because we're coming up. That's the, the farm over there. That's what we, we gotta run through there. All right, we're at 60, gonna release the air. A little bit less than 60. Just let things coast. Through this cut, I've played too much DRL Valley on this route. Through this cut is uh, pretty much where the Y starts after the end of it. We could be doing 80, but we'll just, uh, just let it coast, rolling along, it's fine. Waiting for the switch, waiting for the switch. I don't know what the speed through the switch is. It's probably less than what we're doing. And we're doing 70 and that's a 60, so we're just gonna grab some air. That's doing something, cool. And there's the junction sign. It's, God, it's probably a 50 or something terrifying. There's the switch. Uh, yeah, 50, all right. Keep pinching it down to track speed here. Oh god, we're gonna hit this doing like uh, 55. It's not gonna be too bad. And this is uncharted territory in the career save. We've not been on these rails yet. So that's fun. Did it stop raining? Uh, now it's still vaguely raining. All right. Just let it coast. We're doing a little bit less than 50 now. Let the curve bite us down, cycle braking. I don't know if they've simulated that. No, they definitely haven't. But now we've got a 60 and we did not go in the dirt through that, despite the rear of our train flinging around that curve. But take it when you can get it. And it's 60 through there and we're doing oh, almost 60. Okay, so we're just, uh, we're just gonna let it ride. 
And you can see the, the green glow of the, the farm station in the distance. And I'm going to have to be on the farm, drive through Oil Well Central without blowing anything up. Do you have any idea how long it's been since I've done that? It's been a long time. I think that's line. Yeah, okay. That's the A yard and this is the B yard or, or vice versa, I think. Yeah, and we're lined straight through. Cool. Which means we got places to be! Oh, shut up, you. Always slipping. Put it back in notch seven here. It was eight cars. Blow for the, the crossing, question mark. I always thought that, that crossing at <laughs> the farm is a little silly. It's like, it's in the middle of a yard. Do people ever get to use it? Probably not. Can I get more? At the expense of my traction motor temperature, I think. And it really doesn't convert much into speed, does it? Ah, yes. Hello, the boys, my dear old friends. Who haven't spawned in yet. No, they are. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> oh, you know, shoot, I was gonna get the skins. Skins have been updated. You can get skins again. Um, and I was gonna get that for this episode, but I forgot to. Because uh, Fly Jr.'s already gone through and made the ESD skins all over again. So I'll have to remember to do that for next time. But yeah, make sure you check those out. They're neat. I want to play through this career playthrough like entirely vanilla. But uh, I don't think skins, I wouldn't consider them a mod. Just make things look a little different. Alright, well, the speed's 70 and we're doing 70, so... Next, we've got that spicy Y, and then we're basically gonna be getting to City Southwest, so we're almost there. Uh, hopefully the spicy Y is lined for the direction we wanna go. I don't know if it is. There it is, and it's 60 through there, so we'll just shut back real quick. And there's a 30 somewhere coming up, I know that. So, you know, we'll just pinch a little air on. So we're already past that sign for the 60. Oh, come on, come on. Brakes, do things, please. Brakes, do things, please. Thank you. Woo! All right, picante. That's, uh, that's fine. The line to the right. And then there's the 30. There's the 30, there's the 30. Plug it! <laughs> it's like there is a 30 coming up somewhere. It's a lot of train. Shut up. Why don't you tell me that you're sliding the wheels? We dumped the air and it's wet outside. Come on. Management doesn't need to know anything. It, uh, made it to the end of 30, though. How sharp is the curve? The headlight doesn't illuminate any of it. Okay. <laughs> the train does the dance. All right. Come back out on it a little bit. Go get our second engine here. I don't know if the speed increased or not. I've just blown through that 30 and uh, I mean it's probably 40 or 50. I'll get thwacked by that tree. Seems vaguely 40, 50-ish. There's a 50. And this is the next junction, so this is uh, I don't think, I think it's just a trailing point switch. I don't think we can actually go down the other way towards the sawmill. Yeah, it looks like, no, I guess it is a Y. And we are lined to the right. So both of those Ys are pretty spicy then. But up there in the distance, that's City Southwest. Almost made it. All right, I'm gonna shut both of these down real quick. And we're going to see something. What track is it? C2 inbound. All right, that's probably 
up to the right. There's only really one yard in City Southwest, so we're gonna we're gonna run to it. We're gonna go do the thing. We're doing 40. That's probably fine till we get right up on it. What was that sound? Oh, it's finally stopped raining. The wipers are mad. It's just like what? What was noise? Uh God, which switch? Uh 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 Brakes first. Did I want that? No. Okay, oh we we're already lined oh. Well that's convenient. We're not lined for the main, we are lined for where we wanted to go. I didn't do that on purpose at all. Alright. Coming in nice and easy here, cross the diamonds. And we got another crossing, so why not waggle the stick a little bit? Something like that. Wake everyone up at the uh, probably five in the morning it is in game. Okay. Uh, C2 inbound. C2 inbound. So that's C6. So C2's gotta be the one to the left. It's gotta be like over this way. Kapow. Yeah, okay. Lined in. And we've almost made it. Come on. Gently now. Through the switches and into our final destination here. All right, so we just gotta get all the cars in the clear here. Which, yeah, I guess we'll just run to the other end of the siding, really. And then uh, tie a handbrake and dump the air. And then uh, I can't manually service these, so we'll, uh, we'll pull up and park. I guess the, the question mark is, uh, is if I can shunt these at all. That'll be interesting to see if a shunting job pops up. But we're going to grab our automatic, set them up a little bit. Pretty much at the other end of this track, so... That ought to be a good good place to stop here. Just feather the independent on, nice and hard. Bump the hell out of all the cargo, beautiful. Okay, and then we tie this. Tunk. And then uh, we break our face simulator. <laughs> you don't need to do that, but I don't know. Feels good, feels final. Uh, and now, uh, once again, don't fail me, Super Mario Party game, video game tricks. Ah! <laughs> if I were to change one thing from realistic mode, I think it would be that, just because, yeah, sometimes it's nice to not have to run all over hell and back. Station's all the way over here, man. <laughs> Station office. Here we are. Okay. Job. Kapow. Gee, do you think we made the time? <laughs> 26 minutes. Apparently that gets uh, that gets longer, shorter as you get more licenses. So, sixty-six thousand dollars. That's that's a lot of dollars. Okay, but did that did that proc a switching job for us? Two drop offs. No. Uh, oh yes, it did. Yeah, from the harbor to city south. Oh, well, well, we've got the shunting license, so uh, we're gonna have to recharge our brakes here. 108 minutes. I think we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna put it in. Yeah. Okay. C2I. Uh, throw the book on the ground. There it is. Whoopsie. Just trying to grab my F button. All right, we're already on C2. We need to load him up or unload him at C6, which makes sense. And we got a store at C4. Oh, but the one car, the 391's gotta go to the A3. That'll be the interesting thing. All right, so which one's the, the 391? It's probably in the middle. It's not gonna be the car cars. No. If it's the head car, I'm gonna do a dance for joy. 31. No way. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, video game. All right, so we, we cut all of the train 
at C4, except for this car, which we gotta go put in the A1. Ere the sun rises. <laughs> fourth, air, fourth air lingus! Oh, I suppose I should probably not be doing this yet. Oh, and I can't put it in reverse. Ding dong. We ran this train in reverse. We'll just leave that vaguely like that. Bang! Ow. Nice and spicy. There we go. Tie those in. Air's tied in. Let's uh, kick the brake off. It's fine, we're just gonna keep the engine working and then uh, speed and power. Sand. I don't care if the brake cylinders haven't released yet. I can blow through it, maybe. <laughs> I played chicken with the amp meter and I won. There we go. Come on, we got a 108 minute time bonus this time. We're never gonna make that. All right, let's see, can we turn off lights? Yeah, we don't need lights anymore. What are you mad about? Oh, your traction motor's already warmed up? I guess we're shoving a lot of cars. See, now, now it's the early morning and we've got this uh, beautiful lantern light. We're just gonna throw and burn down the city. I am Mrs. O'Leary's cow, apparently. Dunk, dunk, dunk. It's the mini game that we didn't know we needed. I am sure that there is just a button to set it down. Yeah, there we go. Romantic candlelit DE2 experience. All right, so C6, we gotta get past that switch. So we're gonna keep going. It's not that switch, it's the next one. Shush you. Set some air up. Skirp. This train's gonna become a lot more fun to run as soon as we unload it. Alright, let's smoke him if you got him. Woo! Okay, that time we played chicken with the traction motor amp gauge. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that was hilarious. Just sent it. All right, come on, you you help too. See, you get the same experience. Places to be, places to be. Yoink. There we are. More gutter. a fair amount of cars. I thought it was only like eight cars, but it's like, uh, I think it's nine. Which I know is one more. Not that big of a deal, but. Uh, where is the, un that's gotta be the little kiosk right there. Oh, and there is just an end of track on this. Hopefully we have enough space to unload everything with both of these engines on this end. I don't know, they're probably as long as a car. It's probably fine. We'll shut these both off, though. And uh, let's play chicken with the bump stop, shall we? Because that sounds like a good idea. Just uh, set up a little air. Set up a little air. No balls. I'm gonna just let it. Just let it. Just let it ride. Worried for nothing. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is a silly thing. Okay. Yes, we load and unload many things. Dunk. All right. Everything's unloaded. All these cars being empty now. 
Let's see if, uh, if we smoke the traction motors, if it actually does anything. Still probably got the automatic set on this one, though. There we are. Straight to eight. <laughs> I'm getting too good at that. That's uh, it's not a skill I should be proud of, probably. It's fine. All right, so C4 is a type of plastic explosive, but that's not important right now. Uh, it's also a siding over there. Unprotected shove in the early morning. I mean, it, the locomotives are facing the right way for the first time, though. <laughs> well, I guess technically the second time. The two shoving movements we did. Oh, and the golden, the glow, the flaming ball of hydrogen is appearing in the distance. And we're just getting god rays over the hill. Oh, this is so good. It's the little things, man. You love to see it really made this game pretty. Okay. Setting them up. Setting them up. I wonder if I can fit... I guess we're gonna find... Oh, it's... <laughs> that is a dumb thing that I've not yet noticed. The, the exhaust flapper. It really is just a tractor on rails. Does it change with exhaust pressure? Hard to tell. It's very silly. Anyway, uh, line the switch. Oh, I have a I have a remote for that. What am I doing? C4 just snows. C4, C4 is to there, there. Okay, and now we hope that two, two of these boys, these sun bathing DE2s, um, <laughs> that the two DE2s, and uh, and the first car will fit past that uh, and the track over there. Shut up. Because if we don't fit past the other end of the siding, I, I'm not sure what switching operation I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to set the, the train out over there and then grab, run back with just the one car. All right. Oh goodness, this traction motors got smoky nice and quick, huh? All right, we're gonna do some elite switching here. We haven't done this yet in uh, in the valley. At least in uh, the, the new update. I'm gonna wait until we see all the cars close to on the siding. So there is not a lot of space at that end of track. Okay, everything's just about in. Pop the thing. Pop the hose. Buy those cars. Drop those boys off. And get me to the other cab, please. And we'll slam on the brake here. Oh, we are not gonna fit there. What what was the, what is this siding for? It's a siding for ants. Those other cars have stopped. I'm gonna kiss the bumping post. Ow. <laughs> did we damage the engine? Yes. Yes, we did. Oh, only a little bit. That's what insurance is for. It almost fits. So, how do we have to shove through? Yeah. I guess we have to do that. We have to shove through those other cars to get around. Is this thing just dead? We, we killed it. We damaged it enough to just murder it. Let's start it back up though. It's fine. See? Alright. Of course, viewers. There's always option three. 
didn't really think I was just going to stand for having to shove through this stuff and making a mess of the railroad, did you? There's no way we're going to do that. No way. Ain't no way. I don't want to deal with that crap. You know what I want to do? We're going to railroad sensibly here because we have insurance and we've already hit the copay, I'm sure. So, you know, we'll just do those things. Continue clicking this until it does what I want it to do. Give me... There we go. Okay. And, uh... I'll feed this in, my friend. Just put that straight to eight. Alright. We won't fit with that and those, but... We should fit now. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh, your first derailment! Yes. First. Right. Yes. Whatever you say. If you can't afford re-railing and finishing the job, consider discarding it to a trash bin so you can take another. Right. My first derailment. Look, guys. There it is. My first one. <laughs> uh, what, what's the, the saying in the industry? Space created? Space created. Yep. All right. And now me and the uh, the one the one car to rule them all. And uh, yeah, sorry, other engine that we liked the '96. Oh, that that's the that's our first engine. This is the one we picked up at the harbor. What uh, what, what engine was this? The '45. Yeah, '45. Much worse than the '96. Clearly, '96 supremacy. And who wants to switch with the automatic when you can just flat spot all the wheels? Not quite in the clear yet. Good thing we made space. Can we just use the derailed engine as an end attract device? Seems logical to me. Switch is lined. Dunk. All right. Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for your service. Oh God, line that switch, please. Yep. Now we run through this and uh, now we got places to be. The A sightings are vaguely over there'sville by the station. <laughs> we'll just leave that uh, leave that guy right there. That's where he goes. This is uh, it's so pretty. The sunrise is very nice. Forty's probably a little fast. Okay, so we gotta figure out which one it is. There's the turntable. Which uh, which track is it? That's the servicing one. That's A3. Which 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 track are we going on to? Oh, we're going on to A3. Oh, but that track's like chock full of crap. Okay, and we're on the wrong we're on the wrong end of it now. Okay. I, I thought I put some brake on before I left this thing. Apparently not. Oh yeah, that's a really good way to immediately cook everything. Wrong direction, uh, traction. All right, well, do we just, do we just box ourselves in? Seems easy enough. Seems like the thing that I would do, considering that I just derailed the locomotive to make this delivery possible. All right, uh, it's not lined yet. Line it. There we are. Mm -hmm. Shut her down. Should probably not be going this fast. Should definitely not be going that fast. Okay. And um, this cut of cars is gonna have a brake on it somewhere, but I have a DE2. Bang. Oh, we didn't tie a handbrake on that other cut, did we? What is proper securement? Shut up. Can we go and set that handbrake now? Oh, quit it, you and your whining. My traction motors are hot. Shush. 
Cease. Desist. Alright, that's vaguely parked. Just turn off all the things. We don't want you to do anything. Kapow. Okay. Handbrake. On. Should probably prevent that from rolling away too far. It's okay. It's just some boys. They're not loaded, though, so... And then uh, jump over the or through the cars, and then this is a train we just delivered, so we should probably tie a brake on it. Might as well make it one vaguely in the middle to just really make the train crew that follows me love me. But uh, that's a uh, day shift problem. The sun has come up. It's time for me to go home. It's time for me to be finished. I just got to run down the street, turn my paperwork in now. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Oh, that looks like the station, but it isn't. There's the station. Right. right, 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 right. Okay, and uh, job, kabang. 16 minutes, you love to see it. Grab the extra dollars. Uh, let's see, so what does the report say? Base, okay, 33,000. Well done, no damage was made to derail valley property or the environment, uh, you sure about that? No environment damage, okay. And uh, let's uh, see. Okay, well, uh, two thousand dollars to pay the uh, yeah, one hundred eighty thousand. So uh, consider it a deal. <laughs> Yay! So all the fees are taken care of. Uh, let's see, licenses. Okay, so we got a hundred grand. So now the question: What do we want next? Hundred grand. We oh, oh, we can. Oh, the boys. The boys. The boys are back. Oh, fees? I thought it said I could get more fees. Dollar? A dollar? Silly. Licenses. The boys are back in town, ladies and gents. It's probably not the smartest thing that we could do, but we're just gonna. Oh, the copay just went up a lot. Yeah, that was not the smartest thing that we can do, but you know, you know what I want. You know what I desire out of this game. Uh, and something needs to save me from this DE2 hell. MU is 30 grand. DE6 is way out of the question. DM3 is 30 grand. The DH4 is 50 grand. Steam engine is only 50,000. Do we, do we, do we just immediately buy the steam engine? We can. We really can. Oh, that's sorely tempting. The DM3 is slow. I, like, I've, I've run it on stream. It's very cool, but it's slow. I don't know. Uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna save the, the rest of me money. Say it what I should buy in the comments. Let me know. MU, manual service, logistical halls. DM3, the DH4, the SO60 I don't think is actually in the game yet, the SH282, get that, concurrent jobs for even more spiciness, train length, uh, or, or, milita or military 2, but we need to have military 1 first, so. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tell me what you think I should buy in the comments, and uh, we'll see what we do for next time. As always, thanks so much for watching, and uh, we've had our first carnage, albeit light, in the valley. You'll love to see it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.